I've, I've come to look at, at just this phenomenon of serial killing in a longer, deeper historical and kind of evolutionary uh, context. And, and, and uh, you know, yeah. not much has changed since when my first book came out in 2004 in terms of us understanding what serial killers are and how they're created. We, in fact, we seem to realize we know less than we thought we did. We still don't know. What is it? Is it child abuse? Is it actually psychopathy? Is it, you know, uh, Aspinger syndrome? Is it biochemistry? Is it urine, you know, uh, urine chemistry? Uh, is it uh, some form of behavioral disorder? And the more studies we have, the less we realize that, that, that we know. Um, and, and, and so, kind of thinking about it, um, I've come to the conclusion, essentially, that serial killing is deeply ingrained in the human being um, as a survival mechanism. Uh, that in the primitive time, in the Stone Age, uh, you know, as we become civilized, it becomes inappropriate to rape. It becomes inappropriate to cannibalize. Uh, but we still have these impulses in us. Uh, they're, they're critical to our, our survival as, as, as a species. Um, and, and, and so it's, you know, education, it's parental, um, you know, guidance that kind of teaches us not to be serial killers, not to be cannibals, not to be necrophiles. But, but my suspicion is, is that we're essentially all born serial killers and are unmade from being serial killers by socialization, by good parenting, um, and, 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 and so forth. And, and so it's not a case of a child being made into a serial killer. It's the case of a child not being unmade. And, and, you know, I don't know how well, you know, you remember your childhood. I, I, I think that the, the female chooses while the male uh, sexual impulse is less discriminatory. Um, and, and, and uh, you know, that's why it becomes rape, essentially, because the female doesn't always have in, in the animal world or in our primitive world the option to make the choice. This is great stuff. I could make a career out of this guy. You see how clever this part is, how it doesn't require a shred of proof? And most paranoid delusions are intricate, but this is brilliant. Uh, the male has the option of using force. And, and, and so, uh, you know, I, I imagine that, that, that sex was a constant state of rape in the primitive period. You just, males had sex whenever they wanted to as long as they were the strongest male around. Right? And, and, and so that certainly, you know, the sexual reproductive impulse is so powerful it bolsters also the need for the male to be an aggressor as well. Um, the ability to unleash maximum aggression in the primitive world is essential for the male's ability to have a sexual life. And, and so, of course, uh, you have this kind of um, merge, merging uh, psychopathology between aggression and, and, and reproduction. Uh, you know, it, you know, it was literally dog eat dog, as they say in, in, in that time. We were in a constant state of either running away uh, or killing what we were running away from, if we could kill it, uh, fighting each other, um, and uh, raping each other. It was just that's all we did, and cannibalizing when we needed to do it. You know, so it's just that's kind of where wrong. humans. In the past, those that didn't reproduce, those that weren't strong enough to contribute a defense to the tribe or to the clan, would die. That's not the case anymore. Um, but that's a very recent phenomenon. Let me say that's about, you know, it's only once we become civilized in the last 15,000 years that we begin to see, for example, people living a longer age. That, that uh, you know, around the time we start seeing cave drawings 
emerging, uh, where people start developing a kind of, um, you know, the argument is, is what makes us human. Um, as a human species, we've been around for hundreds of thousands of years, and of course, if you look at hominids, you know, Neanderthal man, other types of, of upright walking species, uh, they've been around a lot longer. In fact, that's the argument, that the reason Homo sapiens have been able to conquer um, the, 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 the uh, you know, previous species is that Homo sapiens are the first ones who develop a fear of the dead and stop cannibalizing each other because of Und was ist mit der Geschichte der Evolution und so? Ihr werdet alle nur für dumm verkauft. Monkeys. Yeah. That's the well, that's early man, Wayne. Get your mouth off the dead monkey. First there were the plants. They developed into animals which ate the plants. The animals were small, but they grew. And the larger animals ate the smaller animals. What does that mean? All right, put that away, Frank. You don't need a chainsaw. You're talking to an innocent man. All right, Mac, I'm going to ask you now because I'm tired. I'm hungry. I want to go home. I want to wash my hands with this whole stinking mess. Did you or did you not snap into an alternate and distinct personality causing you to go on a serial killing rampage? What? No. But... Yes, you did. You... All right, Mac. You're crazy, right? You're a crazy person. Sometimes you're two people. Let's the other guy. Let him out. Let who out? The serial killer, man! Let the serial killer out! I'm not a real killer! Then why all shady behavior? I've been banging the training. I don't want you guys to find out. No, you're trying to... What? Ew. Oh. Oh, I don't even know how that works. Oh, God. It's complicated. Oh, God. I've been speeding up and... Wait, wait, wait. Dude. Wait, so you're not a serial killer? No! I just won this case. That means you're a free man. You're not a serial killer. See, when I came in there, and I was doing... You guys don't even get it, do you? Whatever, I'm gonna eat a beer. Do you think this guy's got any beer in his fridge? Uh, no, there's a bunch of severed heads in there. What? what? There's about 15 severed heads in there, I'd say. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the man. Well, We're in the killer's true. apartment. Yeah. We're in the street. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he said, yeah. I don't know who Gary is. And he put my shh, 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 shh. What are you people doing in my apartment? You know what bothers me? It's to do with evolution. I don't understand why a creature would evolve with the ability to comprehend the futility of its own existence doesn't make sense because it isn't the kind of thing that would give you an advantage over your competitors are you okay well would you like to uh, talk about it no